Francis, who did you speak with today? Well, David and Heather, I spoke to MODOC crews who are planning for the storm and also with Cox Health and Mercy Hospital about how they plan to handle their commutes into work. As far as Springfield goes, we're mainly concerned about uh, after midnight, once the road temps drop enough to, to start impacting the roads with the precip. Yeah. They'll be watching all night and monitoring very closely. MoDOT's Darren Hamlink says when the ground temperature starts to get near 32, crews will start to treat the roads. The morning commute looks questionable. Uh, some of the forecasts I've seen have shown freezing rain in the morning, the early morning hours from, say, 5 a.m. through 9, 10 a.m. and then transitioning at some point over to, to sleet and snow. Road conditions tomorrow could be pretty hazardous and, you know, I'd advise drivers if they don't have to be out tomorrow to stay home. But there are some people out there who have to go to work. With the expected snow day tomorrow, emergency workers and hospital staff are ready taking on more hours and some are even staying in the hospital. Healthcare is a profession that never stops. We have to be readily available to take care of our patients. No matter what the weather is doing outside, we're here. It's very close to a, a dance because as the increases with snow, the more we do. Staff members that live really far away, they can sleep here overnight so that they're ready for their shift in the, the next morning. We've already pre-staged, it's called, our cots, our sleeping rooms, uh, linen, those types of things where we can have people shower and uh, brush their teeth. Like Hamlin said, if you don't have to be on the roads tomorrow, just stay home. Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.